we're off and running. Right, evening everybody, it's Thursday 6th of October, still no sign of the baby yet, so uh, we'll keep plugging away until baby turns up. Um, so tonight, I'm uh, going to do two quickly, and the first one is this one, which I sourced myself um, when I was in Florida back in May, so this was purchased from Total Wine & More uh, in Orlando, 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 near Mall at Millennia, um, if you know anything about Orlando. Um, and this was a, I think it was $1.49. Now I think this is exported to America and isn't available anywhere else. When I've Googled it, it doesn't appear to be any UK merchants that are selling it, but it does appear to be sold in, um, in the US. Um, it looks to be imported by a company called Crosby Lake Spirits, um, although I keep wanting to call them Crosby Stills and Nash, um, who are a company based in Minnesota. But if you, um, I found a review where they had CrosbyLakeSpirits.com and it goes straight through to another company called Prestige Beverage Group. Yes, Prestige Beverage Group. So it, sa it sounds like it's a conglomerate of importers um, that are in the States. They do the Dubliner, which I did the other day, um, and they also on, on the Prestige Beverage website, they talk about Glen Moray and Opeer Gin and a few things like that, which I know are different suppliers over here. So I think they're importing these spirits for sale in the US. Like I say, never come across this before. Um, it, as far as I'm aware, it's produced at the Cooley Distillery, which is here. Now, Cooley, I will go into in a little bit more detail in my next Irish whiskey, and I'll probably cover off fully when I do the green or single grain. Um, Cooley Independent Irish Whiskey Distillery, relatively new. It was founded in 1987, but I'll go into a bit more depth later on. Um, so apart from that, not a great deal. Um, uh, it's one of those again on the label where it's a little bit misleading. Um, the gentle giant of Irish whiskies, Wolfhound is smooth and rich with hues of deep gold and amber. That's not the misleading bit. Um, although I've not tried it yet, so we don't know. Crafted from fine Irish malt and grain by the master distiller of Wolfhound Irish whiskey. It, that wording sort of implies that there is a Wolfhound distillery. There's not. Um, but it's one of those things where the wording on the label can give you the impression that it's something that it's actually not. Um, Irish Wolfhounds, very popular dog. Uh, Irish Wolfhound looks like this. Um, this actually reminded me, and I ended up looking at a very, very old Lenny Henry um, stand-up video from back in the 80s. I can't even remember what year it is. I think it's 1986 or something like that. Um, I had a VHS copy of it when I was a kid, and it was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen. It's dated a bit now, but he did have a joke where he talked about growing up in the 70s in Birmingham, or Dudley, where he lived, um, and there used to be signs on the doors of all the um, shops and pubs saying, no blacks, no Irish, no dogs. So if you were a black Irish wolfhound, you were screwed. Um, and just seeing that just reminded me of um, watching that. So yeah, I've spent about half an hour watching a very old Lenny, Hen Lenny Henry stand-up video um, on YouTube, as you do. Um, if you don't know who Lenny Henry is, um, then you probably um, aren't based in England or the UK. Um, although he did a, uh, he did try and break into Hollywood by doing a film where he pretended to be a white guy. He was an undercover cop. And it, was, it wasn't true identity, but it was something identity. So look it up if you can, and if you can remember what it was called. I don't think I've ever seen it, but I remember him being in that film, and that was him trying to break into Hollywood from the UK. Failed, obviously. Um, but yes, if, if you're in the UK, you'll know who Lenny Henry is. Anyway, so um, that's about it in terms of information. Not a great deal. So it's just down to what's in the, in the glass itself. Um, now, this to me looks like it's got colouring added to it. Again, I still don't know. Nobody's even commented um, about whether Irish whiskies do use colouring, whether they don't, that sort of thing. But, excuse me, I've got a bit of an itchy nose. Um, this looks like it's had colouring in. It's a slightly orangey colour that just, it doesn't look like any of the other um, Irish whiskies that I've had, which have looked quite bright and fresh. Whereas this looks a little bit dull and a little bit, a little bit too brown for want of a better word. Um, I forgot to mention, it's 18.99. This is what the bottle looks like full size, um, which is just a bigger version of this. Um, but it's $18.99 at Total Wine, so about 18, 19 bucks, which isn't expensive, let's face it. So my hopes aren't raised for this. Cooley do do some very good whiskies indeed, but I, I, a preconception, just looking at the price, 
the fact that it's only available in the US as a kind of entry level Irish whiskey, it makes me feel like this could be Cooley's lower end stock that they're not really taking that much care of it. But we'll see, we could be pleasantly surprised. But like I say, the color is, it's a little bit flat and a little bit, a little bit too brown for my liking. Now, what I don't know is if there's any pot still in this because it just talks about malt and grain, but there is a slight pot still element to it. There is a black currentiness to it, but the grain element's slightly harsh on this. It's a little bit, it's a little bit too metallic for my liking. It's a little bit rough on the nose. bit too much of a grain bite and there's not a great deal else there's a little bit of a, a sort of butterscotch element it's but it's a little bit too sickly sweet what's there and then it dies off quite quickly slightly too much grain not enough pot still character not enough maltiness to I think the malt whiskies are giving it that butterscotch flavor but they're not really coming through and they're a little bit too sweet it's a little bit sugary, cloying. I'll tell you what this reminds me of actually, um, is uh, Starbucks. My wife absolutely loves caramel macchiatos. Pregnant, so she's having them decaf, but she loves the caramel sauce. I love the caramel sauce on it. But the caramel macchiato, when you drink the end of it, it's kind of got that combination of sugary, sweet, milky coffee with very little coffee. It's like a milkiness with that slightly cloying, remnants of the caramel syrup and there's a little bit of that in it it's that slightly slightly artificial slightly cloying caramelly flavor that's just a little bit overpowering and then against that is this sharpness but it's a it's very edgy very metallic almost licking your fingers after holding some copper coins sharpness on there so it's unbalanced it's it would probably do, do quite well to mix um, apparently you know official tasting notes or from what I found from one review where they, they it wasn't even a review it was kind of talking about it and saying you know they recommend adding spring water and if you want to mix it add it with ginger ale I can sort of see how this would work with ginger ale more so than coke because the sweetness will go with the ginger ale but it's got that bite to really cut through but as a to drink neat It's not great. Yeah, not a great whiskey. The grain element is too sharp. The multi element is too sweet. And it's a really off balance of the two cloying sweet flavors and quite sharp metallic coppery roughness on it. But for $19, you'd be looking at this as a mixer area. As a mixer, it's probably got enough in it that it's gonna do the job. I would recommend it as a mixer. I think there is enough in there. Oh yeah, it's a really cloying MSG-like aftertaste as well. It really sits and coats your mouth and not really in a good way. Um, yeah, as a mixer, as to using cocktails or just as a straight mixer with ginger ale and uh, more ginger ale than Coke, it will do the job absolutely fine. But if you're looking for an Irish whiskey to be drunk neat as an Irish blended whiskey, as I've already come across, Kilbegan, Paddy, any of those is a far, far better choice than this. Bit of a disappointment, but I had fairly low expectations already. Right, we're gonna do a quick rinse out and then we'll go on to something a wee bit more special. So uh, I shall see you at the next one. Cheers.